What is going on YouTube? Eric here from MajorLeagueTrading.com coming at you with another video here. And in this video, I want to talk about how to analyze a trade. So if you guys are just getting into options trading or maybe you've been trading options for a while, it's good to know how all of the different option strategies work with one another and what it does when price does this or that uh, and the underlying asset moves around. So I posed the question uh, the other day, I uh, had a position on in CHTR, it was a fairly sizable position and I was risking about $6,500 and if CHTR would have gone to my target, uh, which I'm since out of that trade, I was able to lock in a nice gain on that trade, but if I was able to get it to target, what was going to be my return? How much money could I have made on that trade? So I posed the question to the chat room. A little bit of a trick question there because I kind of knew the answer or what I wanted to do, which was make this video and show you guys how to analyze a trade. So if you are not using Thinkorswim, which is TD Ameritrade's platform here, then that's the first thing you're going to need. Uh, TD Ameritrade, Thinkorswim platform is really, really great for charting, really, really great for options trading. And it is the uh, main preferred charting package that I use and it's what you're seeing on my screen right now. So if you guys don't have that, that'll be one thing that you do need. Um, next up is once you do have it or if you already have it, we're gonna walk through this. Um, when you log into the main window there, you're gonna see monitor, trade, and then analyze. That's gonna be the third tab in. And when you click on that tab, what you're gonna see is something that looks very similar to this. Um, and we're gonna be working with this today. This is what we're gonna be talking through and how to actually use this tool and learn more about the option strategies you want to start using and applying those to individual equities uh, and just really messing around and playing with the platform and the options strategies. So what I wanna do is we have Google, G-O-O-G-L here up on the screen and tomorrow is going to be monthly options expiration here. So the third Friday of every month is going to be the main monthly options expiration cycle for the equity markets now, which is tomorrow. Um, what I'm looking at here in Google and the trade I want to set up for a simulated trade here um, is thinking or the idea behind it is that Google is going to close somewhere around $1,300 tomorrow for what we call a pinning play. And I just want to use this as an example, right? I do a number of different strategies, one of them being where I'm selling a put spread, buying a call spread, you know, anywhere between 30 to 45 days out when price is reaching, you know, major support and resistance, things like that. Um, that's a long type strategy. You can do the exact same thing on the downside where you're selling a call spread, buying a put spread. But how do you know kind of how all those interact and where do you need price to go and all that stuff? This tool is going to show you exactly that. So we've got Google in here. You can see risk profile here. There's nothing. We got one solid line here and some prices down here, 1300, 1310. So what we need to do is we need to actually come in. If you don't already have a position on, uh, which I don't have a position on in Google right now, uh, we'll look at a trade that I actually do have a position on here in just a second. But let's say we want to we want to build a trade here in Google and we want to see you know kind of how that's going to work. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to add simulated trades. And when we get here, you can see it's just a normal options chain, nothing, nothing special, nothing fancy, just a normal options chain inside of TOS. And you can see we are coming into monthly options expiration. So what I want to do from here is I want to start building this trade. So I'm going to hold down the control button and I'm going to sell the 1302 half call. I'm going to buy the 130 half call. I'm then going to come in and I'm going to sell the 1297 half put and buy the 1295 put. What that's going to do is that's going to create an iron condor. And basically an iron condor is looking for price to stay contained with inside of the strikes or potentially even a little bit into the strikes that you sold. Now, this right now, we're going to we're going to use $2 as an easy number here. You'll see it populates this down here in the bottom uh, of the screen and it shows us here's our potential simulated trade here. 
Now, what this does is it's a $2.50 wide spread. There's $2.50 between 1302 half and 1305. There's $2.50 between 1297 half and 1295s. We're going to be able to collect $2 from this trade, which means that our total risk now, because not both sides can be a loser, is only going to be 50 cents. So we're potentially risking one to make four here. We're risking 50 bucks to potentially make 200. But what do we need price to do in order for that to happen? Well, for that, we're going to go back over to our risk profile. And you'll see that that position stays down there in the bottom. And what we do is we get this graph with some lines on it here. And what that's going to start to tell us is what this actually does as price moves. So on the bottom here, you'll see this is our, uh, this is our price. And then these two lines are going to be your current day, which is going to be the 14th, the purple line, or expiration, which is going to be your blue line here on the, uh, on the chart here. Now, one thing we can do, um, you'll see like, okay, if price closes right here, like $1,300, it looks like I'm only making $34 on this, but you said we're potentially going to make upwards of 200 on this position. So why are those numbers not there? Well, number one is you need to step in and go with lines plus one date or expiration plus one at expiration. And what that's going to do is drastically change the way this looks. And you'll see here that now when we are looking in the bottom left here for our P and L that if price is right around $1,300, come expiration, you'll see that we're potentially going to make $200 here, right? Again, this is a simulated trade, not one that I have on, just showing you guys for demonstration purposes. Now, what does, I mean, what does this do for you? What, what can you use this for? Well, you can use this for a number of different things, right? You'll be able to spread out your date. So if you're looking at uh, an options contract that has, you know, 30 to 45 days out, you can then start to see and change up this purple line as to where price or what you will potentially be able to make as price moves in your favor or against your favor. For this trade, we're looking for price to stay kind of contained here. And that's why you'll see the little bit of an arch there. And then you see the big arch there for the expiration cycle. Now, since we're selling this for $2, that means that between 1295.50 and 1304.50, we potentially stand to make a profit. And the reason being for that is we're, we have 50 cents worth of risk, right? Which puts our, our downside there at 1295.50s. That's $2 into the, um, into the spread there on that side, 1297.5 down to 1295.50s. And then same thing on the top side, we're $2 in to the 1302 half strike, which would put us up to 1302 or 1304.50s, right? And you'll see that here on the chart. As we get right here at about 1304.39s, you can see we can actually start to make a little bit of profits because our break even is going to be at 1304.50s on the top side there. And that number slowly starts to go up until in terms of profits, right? This blue line is profits. You'll see that in the bottom left right down here, right? You'll see that that slowly starts to go up and up and up and up until we reach right there under 13.0250. That is our sold strike. That is an alert on a Netflix getting a new high. Um, anyways, so that's how you're going to be able to, you know, kind of work with this, use it, see what's happening to your contract on the date. Uh, again, there's a ton of things you can use in here uh, with the risk profile. You can change it to a specific date, uh, which this one is set to today. You could change that out to uh, potentially tomorrow. You can do a number of different things with this. You can even go single here and really just uh, play around with this. So I like the kind of plus one at expiration 
Uh, the plus two at expiration here is just going to be like a little bit tighter there. Um, and again, you can drag these out and kind of zoom in there. Um, anyways, so that's how you use this. It, it works really, really well if you're trying to learn the strategies. I would stick with plus one at expiration here just to kind of get a feel for the strategies overall. Um, and again, as the, the wider you go with the spreads, you know, let's say we wanted to change this to the 13, 12 halves, and we want to change this down to the 12, 87 halves, you know, it's going to change the arc here a bit because we now have a wider spread. We're going $10 wide here on this spread, which we could actually collect um, $6.15 for, which would then, let's just call that $6, right? So pop quiz time. If you guys are listening to this video, what I want you to do, uh, if this is a $10 wide iron condor, we can sell it for six bucks. I want you to tell me how much you have at risk. What is your max potential loss if you were to do this one contract, one time right here? Leave me a comment below. Tell me what your max risk would be on this particular trade here. $10 wide iron condor, excuse me, you're selling it for a $6 credit. So let me know in the comments below. Again, anyways, this is how you can use this tool. Uh, really, really nifty if you're looking to uh, kind of go ahead and learn. And for those of you that are smart, you actually saw that I had the, uh, <laughs> the total risk was actually shown on the screen here because um, it shows you down here at the blue line. So you can see negative $400 would be the total risk on that position. Um, anyways, so that is that. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch over to a current open position that I have which is going to be in BIIB. And what you'll see here, so I have BIIB and I need to change this to BIIB. I do not have my charts linked for this. Um, what you're gonna see for BIIB uh, is we've got a nice move down on the daily chart here. I went ahead and bought some puts. And again, you'll see my position in, in, the, uh, in, in the risk profile here in just a second. But I went ahead and bought some puts looking for a potential continuation of the downside in BIIB going into tomorrow. Now, I bought them because one, BIIB was breaking through this 278.21s and kind of this low from the gap down. We did get confirmation closes beneath that level for sure. And I bought them because they seemed really, really cheap. So the more you get familiar with options, you'll find that you'll kind of get a feel for, you know, this option this far out with this stock should be about this price. Obviously the Amazons, the, the well, used to be Priceline, the bookings, um, Google's, the bigger names, right? The stocks that are trading a lot of, uh, a lot of ticker volume or size, if you will, um, <clears throat> are gonna be a little bit more expensive, right? So what I wanna do, I wanna show you guys the position I have here. And you'll notice in BIIB, uh, so the price goes from lower left here is going to be the, the 240, 250, 260, 270. Um, so the price works up as you go this way. So if we go, if we go higher, or let's just say we stay right here at like 273, I'm going to lose $1,005 on this trade, right? That's my total risk on the position. The trades that I bought are down here. I bought the 265 puts the 262 half puts, the 260s, and the 257 half puts, right? And you can see I've got 10, 10, 13, because I got an odd number on a fill. I cancel the rest. And then a 25 lot on the 257 halves. Again, I thought these options were super cheap. So I went ahead and stepped in and bought kind of a series there. I'll start to make some money on these if we can sell under kind of 265 70s here. Um, or basically 260, or sorry, 264 70s, or really anything under kind of 265s, I'll start to really make some money with these. Now, come tomorrow, what are these going to start to be worth? Well, you'll see if we watch this bottom blue uh, number down here, this is going to slowly start to go up. It's going to turn from a negative to a positive really, really quickly here. And my target on BIIB coming in tomorrow you'll see it down here in the bottom right, is 253.71. So if we can get down to 253.71 by tomorrow, and we'll just call it 253.70, good for government work there, 
what are we going to be able to get to here in terms of profits is going to be about $37,000. So I'm risking $1,000, $1,005 to potentially make roughly $37,000 on this position. Now, obviously, you're not going to hit every single trade. You're going to have losers. This trade may or may not end up being a loser here, right? If price can't start to break down today, then I think it most likely will be a loser. But again, I'm comfortable putting that risk out there because I see the potential reward in where price can go. Um, and again, the same thing you can do with simulated trades and mocking up like, okay, I think price is going to go from here to here. What is, what is it going to do? What's that going to look like? Where does that put the, the options contract at for me, which is going to be the Theo price, which you can do inside the options chain as well. But you can really look at the risk profile here and kind of see where you start to make some money at and by which time. Again, I'm going a little bit tighter here with only a day until expiration, thinking that this thing will continue to move lower. For the purposes of this video and for the purpose of the trade, it would be great if it does, right? I would look kind of smart, right? Risking $1,000, make $37,000. Similar to the Roku trade, which is a risk of $1,000 on that trade, and I made a little over $38,000 on that trade. Um, so that trade is also, there's a video here on the channel if you guys want to check that one out as well. But anyways, that's what I have here for the risk profile, kind of adding some simulated trades here, getting to learn the options platform and everything like that a little bit better and how they all work with one another. So again, if you don't have Toss uh, already, you can go ahead and download Toss, open up an account. It is free to do so uh, and start checking that out and then start utilizing this risk profile and get your hands on figuring out and kind of dissecting these options trades a little bit more in depth. So <clears throat> thank you guys so much for watching this video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up on this video. Click that subscribe button so you know when we go live each and every morning. Also, so you know when we post uh, videos like this on the channel here. Uh, and then leave me that comment in the comment section below. Any ideas for future videos you might have are appreciated as well. I'm here to help you guys and share any knowledge that I can with you uh, and steer you guys in the right direction. So thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.